Yo, what's going on, guys? Today we're looking at the newest character, Carol. Um, she's a Princess Connect unit. She is a free SSR. It's very important to notice. Another free um, SSR being the third one from the Princess Connect character lineup. Other units being Kokoro and uh, Pecorin. So pretty cool. She is a dark unknown unit. Even though she has the furry ears, they are going to classify her as unknown. So that's unfortunate because if you wanted to run her with Vampy, it's going to be a little bit harder in Fa. Now she does give. Um, uh, she is a staff unit and a attack spec unit, so that's pretty cool. I believe she's the only attack spec staff unit for Dark at the moment, so that's something to be noted. Maybe useful down the line, but right now, not so useful. The attack spec that is. Her Ogi is Grim Burst. It does dark damage to a foe, obviously, and also gives her a Chaos Grimnir effect. So, Chaos Grimnir is just a stacking, not really a stack, but it's kind of similar to things like Lancelot, Percival, uh, Lucio, Forte, stuff like that. Her skill one, Thunderball, uh, deals dark damage to a foe. Also, if you have a Chaos Grimnir in um, your, on your, after the Ogi, she does uh, consume it and activates twice. So just like Lancelot, all the units I've mentioned prior, she does get a double nuke, which is pretty okay. It does considerably a good amount of damage, honestly. So it's not a bad nuke at all. Now this skill and then the second skill armor down. One thing I will have to mention it is dark defense down stackable stackable being really good. I just wish it wasn't dark defense down stackable. Um, if they could have just kept it dark uh, defense down stackable, it's been a really, really good skill. It does have a long cooldown being six turns, but it is dark defense down stackable. So it does stack with dark defense down. So keep that in mind. So it's pretty cool, but I just wish it wasn't dark defense down stackable instead of with this defense down stackable. Her last skill is Dark Eclipse. It's a dark damage to all foes and boosts boost to cast a skill damage stackable. Keep in mind that it's indefinite boost. So that's, that's something that you should look at. Also, it can be dispelled. Now her support skill is absolute secrecy. Um, it boosts to her attack based on how low her health is. Do know that you do have ways to lower dark health very easily. Example, Zoe. So that's always a way to maximize your support skill if you are going that route. Her last support skill is your dead meat and it's a boost to her critical hit rate. Nothing that crazy, but this is a boost to critical hit rate. Now, with her EMPs, I would recommend wanting to boost up her CA damage. Um, you probably want to put at least a couple points in CA damage. You definitely want to max out her skill damage cap, her CA damage cap, and dark attack. Her EMPs are actually pretty good. There is a lot of good EMPs here, actually. Even her support skill is not bad, as it does give her a boost to dark attack upon using dark eclipse. Um, so if depending on your build, if you're going like double Celeste or double Hades, you want to prioritize dark attack over everything else. So that would be dark attack here, dark attack here, and her passive. If you're going Bahamut, then you probably want to prioritize CA damage and skill damage cap and CA damage cap. Critical hit is what you get last. I would probably actually get that the very last because he does have a boost on her critical hit rate. So um, that would be the very last thing you should get. But anyways, let's get to a fight with her and see how she performs. Okay, so we're taking on sub high level because um, it's the boss I wanted to take on, to be honest. I didn't want to take on Apollo, and I didn't really feel like doing any other boss, so I decided to do sub high level. Uh, this has never happened before. I think my whole screen is black. Oh. Okay. I don't know what's going on. 
That was weird. Did the game break? Did it... What is this? I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll see if I can figure this out. Okay, I'm back. Um, I don't know what happened there, but I'll leave it in the video just for a good little laugh. Maybe that has happened to somebody else, because this has never happened before. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to just apply some debuffs. I got to keep in mind that 75 does have um, the boss clear itself. We're going to use her skill 2 right now. Carol's skill 2. Lower defense down. I don't know if I want to use... Mm, no, we're not going to use that. Thought about it, but it's not worth it. We have to miss the fence down, unfortunately. Not the fence down, attack down. Yeah, we're already almost at 75. So we're in there really fast. Even with the fence down, not even capped. Good thing I waited. Like this. Yeah, next auto to give it to me. I'm gonna Ogi actually into it. The attack. Oh, she actually did really good damage there. Surprise. Was not expecting that from her. To be honest, not expecting it at all. Activate the potion. Oh, come on, fairy. Missing the fence down. That's unfortunate. Oh well, what can you do about it? Maybe my main character will hit the fence down. Yep, cool. Three point eight. Three point seven. Yeah. Damn, it's not there because we're not capping the fence down, unfortunately. Four point four is not bad, but we just can't hit up the four point eight. Four point nine. Frank buff. I think we already have Baja still in effect. We do have another defense down right now. So that's good. And we'll auto. Multi attack here. Get our double nuke off. So you can see that our double nuke does, does, does do good damage, so. Respectable damage, actually. What I would say. Baja again. We're gonna Oki twice actually here. We're gonna Oki here and then we're gonna activate Splitting Spirit to Oki again. Should be dead actually in a, maybe a turn. Uh, okay. Yeah, the game's been bugging out. Weird. It's gonna refresh that. Too bad we can see the damage there. Go ahead. Unfortunately, the game has been bugging out. I kind of wanted to activate death, but... Oh, well. Death would give me uh, enough damage to kill it. Oh, I couldn't hit the fence down. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no, it's dead. It's, it's, it's dead. It's dead. Or maybe not. Maybe if I hit the defense down, it would have died. Maybe. Oh, 
Yeah, it would have died. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. I love her end pose. So cute. Okay, well, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Unfortunately, one thing about this boss is kind of hard to have the fence down cap on it because it does clear itself, and this game is... I don't know what's going on, but yeah, that's weird. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.